My name is David Foster. I currently practice at Gallatin Dental Care. It's a town outside of Nashville, Tennessee. I graduated from UT Memphis in 2011 and the plan was always go work with dad. And so in 1986, he, he built an office, uh, no patients, hung a shingle up, a four office thing next to a pharmacist in a small town that didn't even have a stoplight. Um, I don't know how he did it. I would never choose that path in this day and age. I couldn't do it. I could not do what my dad did. We were working on building a new office and it's the prettiest office I've ever seen. I'm still jealous and he's got all the fancy fancy stuff, uh, you know, massage, heated chairs, electric hand pieces, Cyric machine, you name it. Uh, so that's what we built to, for the both of us. Um, and that was always the goal, to, to go in there, work with dad. Brother was gonna come up. I wanted four or five offices and, and to move into the more of a management level type thing with our own, own little foster dental care type thing. We, we kind of built a little bit too much, and, and he'd be okay with me saying that. I got a little over our heads, and that's when I was running the numbers, and, and I didn't see room for the both of us anymore, which was one of the harder things I've ever had to do in my life. Uh, really big life curveball, and we've all got them. Uh, that was a hard thing to go through that stress of what I thought my life was going to be for the next 40 years and just flip it upside down. So that was hard. I know that was hard on him because um, that's he wanted that for us too to all be together and I had to walk away and and say look I don't want to bring the whole ship down um, so I got, I got to move somewhere else and because my aunt had already been in Heartland so long and she'd been working on us for years and we were just the typical response no we we have it we've got it but I gave it a shot um, so and that that's when I started looking looking into Heartland I took the approach, I'm still, I'm still new to dentistry, I'm just five years in, so there's a lot for me to learn, so I'm not going to go into any situation and think I know it all. So in those situations, even though they were uncomfortable, I, there's still something to be learned. Um, those doctors have still been practicing for 10 years. Um, they know more than me. I went there, I said yes, and I said, yeah, you want me to do that? I'll do it. And I learned, and I watched, and I listened. And, and then an opportunity came up to take one of those offices, just me, and I took what I learned and I applied it. And we were wildly successful. I'm really happy with what I did at that office in six months. And then another opportunity came up that moved me closer to home where I wasn't driving three hours a day, and I took it. And I think the whole story you can look at in Heartland Dental, um, is one of the only places you can do this. If you put your time in, if you show what you're worth, there will be an opportunity. In private practice, for me, everybody was my enemy. I had to figure out how to beat them. And I, I, I actually didn't like seeing those guys succeed because it meant uh, it somehow detracted from me and that was just so backwards. Like it, uh, so Heartland, uh, I love it when Dr. Sims succeeds, or my brother 20 minutes down the road, or my dad 20 minutes down the road. It doesn't, I know now, it doesn't affect me. I am my own competitor, um, and so we can be happy for each other. I don't have to get my feelings hurt if someone else is doing, doing better. Um, it's, it's exciting, that's, that's really cool. The Foster family, we're the biggest family unit in Heartland Dental. Uh, we have four. My aunt in Evansville, Indiana. My brother, uh, White House Family Dental. My dad, Pleasant Grove. And then I'm at Gallatin Dental Care. We've experienced about every transition you can experience in the company collectively, so we can speak to, to just about anything. Uh, I've, I've been associate with doctors. My, my dad had his own office for so long. My brother's a de novo. Um, Aunt Katie uh, t took a struggling office, uh, so it's we can speak to just about everything, which is really neat. And we all have our own ways we go about things. One thing that's neat that um, is, is we can all have our own offices, and we can we can get together and share on them, and we don't step on each other's toes if we do things a little differently. 
in Heartland Dental, you have the autonomy to practice how you want to practice, and we're all a little different. Even with me, my dad, my brother, um, and, and if you put us together in the same office, we, we might disagree a little bit. But now that we have our own offices, we do our own thing. I guess you could say drink a Kool-Aid, but man, it really tastes good, and it actually really takes care of you. So is that is that a bad thing to drink? I don't, no, I, I'm fine with it. You know, <laughs> so when people say that, I'm like, yeah, it's awesome, and I, I'm gonna go for seconds. You wanna come with me? You know, it's it's really good Kool Aid. <laughs>